This is my Genshin Impact list of what elements you should use to defeat all the bosses. Just so you know, these are the bosses from version 1.0 to 3.8. Well, I should say before 3.8 is released, coming in July. So, keep up to date. Just so you know, those X's mean you cannot use the element for that boss. Let's get into this video. So, the first boss we got is the Anemo Cube. Now, as shown, those are the elements that you have to use for this boss. So, this is where the boss is located, where Mondstadt is. It's up above Mondstadt in Stormbear's Mountain. So, that is where you have to go to for the first boss on the list. Basically, I'm doing this in order, so that's what we're doing. So, the Anemo Cube is immune to a Nemo along with Geo. Now I know Geo is has not been like the best element since Dendro came out, so Dendro is definitely recommended as you could see, because you could do all kinds of reactions with Dendro. <laughs> Next boss on this list is the Geo Cube. Now you cannot use a Nemo, but you will have to use Geo, which I will get to that in a bit. So basically, it's located at Gunyun Stone Forest, basically in Leeway. It's near Leeway City, basically Leeway Harbor. So basically, you have to go this exact route that I am going is you see in this video. Otherwise, you're probably going to get lost on this island and not know where the boss is. But, hopefully, this does help you guys try to figure out where this boss is whenever newcomers actually see this video. Now, as you saw, with the Geo having an X on this, you do not have to use Geo on this boss, because it's Geo. You, it's pointless to use the same element on the element the boss is so if it's a geo boss it's pointless to use geo the only reason why i'm using ito is because you have to break those things with clay moss and for some reason clay more abilities like is what will quickly take down that pillow so the best bet i used was ito because i can use his clay more alt and be able to just do a bunch of hits to take down that pillow but yes, you will have to use a Claymore user. It doesn't matter what element. As long as you just take it down, that's all that matters. So that way you can have the advantage to take it out. And as you can see, it's immune to the Geo thing I used with Edo. So only use Geo if you really have to, to take down that pillow. So if you want to use Noel Shield, Noel Shield, you can use that. Now the next boss on this list is the Ocean Ed. 
basically you cannot use hydro anemo or geo because basically it's all water bosses now it's located where Wu Wang hill is where leeway is basically beside wolf of the north so basically you have to go in the middle of this thing and the enemy will spawn in a bunch of many enemies that you have to take out to deplete the boss's health just so you know if you do use electro apparently it'll not go well because you need to think electro spreading on against a water boss is not a good idea Now the next boss on this list is the Electro Cube. Just so you know, you cannot use Electric or Geo. It's not recommended. However though, you could use Geo if you want, but that's only to take out the last portion of the boss fight because apparently you have to use specific character weapons to take out this last phase apparently. As you see in the video, later on you will see what I mean. So as you can see, you cannot take it out with a bow or a catalyst, but the person with the claymore in the video is able to do it because they're activating a fire ability. So apparently, you have to use fire abilities or different abilities to take it out. It's best recommended to use Goba, like Xiling, and then you should be able to take it out no problem. Now the next boss on this list is the Ice Flower. So this Ice Flower is located, again, in Mondstadt. It's right above the Electric Cube, basically. But it's up near the Thousand Wind Temple. And basically, you have to go down this big, gigantic hole 
And it's right down there. You have to destroy the core in order to weaken it, and then you could do a lot of damage to it. The next boss on this list is the Fire Flower. Same thing like the Ice Flower, but it is located in Leeway this time, where the Luha Pool is. And basically, you have to go through a tunnel in order to get to it. And basically, the tunnel's right there. As soon as you spawn, you go in the tunnel, you go through it, and the Fire Boss will be right there. Just like before, you will have to use... The opposite element of what you used on the ice boss. So meaning if it's fire, just use ice. If it's ice, use fire. Or electric, because electric works on both, as you see in the video. The next boss on this list is the Ice Cube. Now, the Ice Cube, as you see with the X's, you cannot use those elements on this. Now, it is located in Dragon Spine. Basically, you have to do uh, Into the Mountains quest, I'm pretty sure. And then you'll unlock this cube boss. So basically, you have to do a side quest to be able to get this boss unlocked to be able to ascend Yola. Also, make sure you activate these pillows that you see me and my friend activate. So that way, whenever you're caught by the cold, as you see this blue meter's going up above our level on our character along with the HP. Once that blue thing goes fully up, you will have to go into one of those pillows that we activated or that you activated. They're scattered around the boss. It's best to go around and activate them before walking towards the boss to where it activates them so as you see we activate three as you can see it automatically gets rid of the cold and you're able to continue the fight without actually losing health comes in handy The next boss on this list is the Primo Geo Fish app. Just so you know, there's multiple elements of this guy. So meaning it works on all elements. Go all out. Doesn't matter what element you use, including Dendro. You can go all out with it. And once you see the boss and you see the different colors on it, just so you know it changes each time when it respawns. Usually it's the same, but sometimes it's different. 
and the difference is this one's geo this one is waddle and then there's an electric one and an ice one as seen in this video that's the electric and this is the ice one Now the next boss on this list is the Mechanical Womb. Well, we call it that because it's a Wobot Womb. And it's located in the Underground Chasm. You unlock this later on in the side quest into the Chasm. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But, basically, this is the location. It's hard to find this boss at first. And yes, it's blocked by a bunch of side quests. But hey... You can get through it, trust me, it takes a while, but don't worry, it's worth it to ascend Yalon. Now, the next boss on this list is the Water Cube. Now, basically, it's located in Inazuma on Watasumi Island. And basically, you have to go to that waypoint where I'm at. And basically, you have to follow this exact place of where I'm going. Otherwise, you're going to probably be clueless of where the boss is. Because I sure was whenever I first encountered this boss. To actually try to get the essential materials for Kokomi.
Now the next boss on this list is Magu Genki. Or Genki. Whatever you want to call him. He's located in Inazuma below Sulfan's head and Yashiri Island. And basically, he's right there. You go ahead and go at him. Just so you know, it will be thundering in this area. Most of the time. Or maybe always. Who knows? Next boss we have here is the Geo Wolf. Now, you will definitely, definitely need Geo, and this is located in Tsuruami Island. It's below Yashiro Island where we fought Magu Genki. And basically, again, it's in Inazuma. Basically, you have to take him out with a sort of percentage. Once he puts down some stuff away from him. As you see later in this video, you have to use exactly GL. That's why I brought a, uh, a level 20 Ning Wong. Trust me, it's better to use a catalyst. So best use Ning Wong for you Ning Wong mains. The next boss on this list is the Fire Cube. Now, the Fire Cube is located, again, in Inazuma. It's old, It's a bit on the left of Inazuma City, or Naokami Island for short. And you can't miss it. It's right up ahead.
Now here we have is the next list of bosses. We have the Electric Dragon and the Ice Dragon. As before, the X's mean you cannot use that element. If something changes, I will let you know like before. And basically you have to go to Inokami, which is a place underneath Watsusumi Island. I probably said the island wrong. That's underneath Watsusumi Island. But hey, we're just trying to uh, get this video done and over with. Because we're almost done. We'll pass halfway. And as you can see, once you take out one of them, you have to take out the other one. So best to get your one friend to help you with this. Makes it so much easier. Because two of you guys can... Attack one of them and then go for the other one after you defeat the first one. And it doesn't matter which order you go in. Pick whatever one is easier to defeat first. Now the next boss on this list, we like to call it the Mech Cube, because why not? Let's call it a Mech Cube. It's located on Janren Island. There's also another location where you can get it, which is underwater. But we're going to do this route because most people probably will not try doing the one quest to get actually underwater because it requires a puzzle. Now for this one, it's easier because all you have to do is go across of where I'm going Across this island, there's a purple rift icon. Basically, if you look up where I'm going, basically, it's the purple thing that you can grab and link onto another of those electro gamma things, or whatever you want to call them. Just call them electric flies. We'll just call it electro flies. So you grab the electro gamma, as you can see, you go up, and then you go into this portal, as you can see. Takes you straight in front of the boss, and you can just go all out on it. Like I said, any element works on this boss. Now the next boss on this list is the Electric Ocean Ed.
next boss we have here is the Dendro Cube. The next boss on this list is the Dendro Bard. Yeah, we literally called it that. Because, yeah, it's literally a Bard. Next boss on this list is the Mech Dragon. Yes, we call it that. Because obviously it's a flying mech. So we called it the Mech Dragon.
next boss on this list is the electric flower. The next boss on this list is the invisible mech because it goes invisible. <laughs> The next boss is the Anemo Worm, because it's a Nemo and it's like a worm.
Now, the last boss on this list, we like to call it the Elemental Wizard because it has three elements ice, electric, fire. And they use it to basically pull up a shield. You must take it out. And yeah, basically, that's it. For these bosses. Enjoy this final fight with this last boss. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah. And that is all for the bosses in Genshin Impact. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watched it till the end. Bye!